Hi everyone, my name is Rajaram. Uh, I go by Raj. I'm a vice president with Infosys and I focus on the mid-size insurers and banks in the US market. Today I have the privilege of talking to Anurag uh, who heads the FSI practice for Newgen. And we are going to discuss today on a very important topic, which is how to accelerate digital transformation for insurers and especially the mid-size insurers. Anurag. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Raj. And uh, uh, just by way of introduction, uh, I'm Anurag Shah. I manage the production solutions. And as Raj, Raj mentioned, uh, the insurance and uh, uh, especially insurance vertical and uh, towards the mid-size insurers is what I focus on from the news and products and solutions perspective. So just to kind of kickstart, right, uh, Raj, I mean, uh, if you, if you if you look at this insurance industry, what do you, how how are you seeing it? What is your view on the challenges that these especially mid-sized insurers are facing at this point in time, just post-COVID? And so, how do you see it? Uh, thank you, Anurag. Great question. Uh, see, the mid-sized insurers have always uh, differentiated with their uh, personalized experiences, speed, and agility. And uh, there is a risk to this uh, historical competitive advantage they have had uh, if they don't undertake digital transformation of their business and evolve to meet the changing customer needs. Uh, this is uh, because uh, the large carriers have been moving very fast on an end-to-end -end digital transformation to deliver personalized and consistent experiences across the channels for their customers. And as we all know, uh, which size carriers have spent limitations uh, to embark on such a large-scale digital transformation journey. Uh, let's take some examples. The majority of the large carriers are using conversational AI capabilities for processing claims, uh, providing both speed and personalized experience to their customers. We know that poor customer experience during the claims leads to lower customer retention uh, and reducing customer churn by as little as 2% a year can cut cost up to 10%. So this is a very important area. Uh, large carriers are also extensively leveraging insure tech ecosystem to emerge with, uh, to sort of integrate with emerging capabilities to fully remote enable claims processing. They're also looking at end-to-end uh, -end, uh, claims processing using AI for certain threshold limits, especially the high volume and low cost insurance claims. And other examples I'm seeing the large insurers really you know, making you know, the, the sort of the transformation from a digital perspective is using telematics to make automated uh, SOS calls, the prediction of accidents using IoT sensors, uh, using machine learning to estimate loss reserves, uh, and using AI image recognition to estimate the repair costs during claims processing. And uh, so these are all very important areas for digital transformation for the mid-size insurers to sort of know, consider. Also, if you see, the mid-size uh, insurers are historically focused on owning the complete value chain, whether it is on the operation side or the technology side, and their limited outsourcing has meant they have to make large outsize uh, investments because they lack the scale economies. And the other area where I think it's very important for the mid-size insurers to consider and the challenge they are facing is on the legacy technologies and the technical debt. Uh, and this is actually you now really sharply increasing their cost and expense ratios. And it's very important for the mid-size insurers to adopt next-gen and new technologies to become more efficient. And given right uh, all these changes and challenges, I believe the mid-size insurers have to match the digital capabilities of the large insurers so that there is not a big gap in the experience they provide and the efficiency ratios between the large carriers and the mid-size insurers. That's really quite an insightful uh, perspective of the industry and, and especially, like you said, mid-size insurers. So, so with, with all that being said, right, from your vantage point, how do we approach uh, the digital transformation around the areas that you talked about? So, uh, Anurag, that's a great question. Infosys has created an end-to-end -end digital transformation playbook and blueprint 
specifically focused on the mid-size insurers. This is based on trying to achieve speed, accuracy, and trust. And this playbook covers multiple areas. It starts with identifying the business OKRs and digital metrics to start off the digital transformation, looking at the customer journey design and reimagining that both for the customers and their internal colleagues, identifying key digital transformation initiatives which drives front-to-back digitization, looking into next-gen technologies, including API, cloud, etc., data, etc. And then we are also, you know, uh, uh, in, as part of the playbook, looking into key enablers like how do we do from a delivery perspective, right? Agile and project product-centric delivery models, uh, design labs, looking into the whole engineering talent, new ways of working. And one of the key areas we have included is how to find the money and send fund portions of this transformation because this is a very important area from a mid-size insurer's perspective. And we also have, as part of this, a transformation office, which not only executes this across the organization, but also helps to track the value that is being realized. While this is a very comprehensive blueprint, we have made it very modular to focus on key processes like claims processing, policy administration, or contact center. So the mid-size insurers can use specific uh, journeys, specific focus areas to transform and achieve the business outcomes quickly. And one of the things we have also realized as we as we you know put this together and 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 as we work with many of our clients is we can accelerate this journey if we use a platform like Nugen, right? And Nugen acts as a catalyst to drive value and get this digital transformation going quickly. So in this context, right, I'm very keen, Anurag, what is your perspective, right? How do you see acceleration of digital transformation using a platform like Nugen? Yeah, that's that's a great way of looking at uh, the challenges that uh, mid-insurers uh, are seeing and Raz, the way you bring your Infosys value prop uh, to help them in what uh, pain and challenges that they are going through. And and your question about Nugen platform, right? When uh, how, how Nugen platform is going to help accelerate this entire digital transformation. So I, I like to start by saying that IDC projects that about 80% of the worldwide data is going to be unstructured by the year 2025 in less than three years. What it means is these insurers, employees and partners and their customers, they are going to start spending a lot of time in gathering information, uh, going through those information and oftentimes repeatedly going through it comparing certain certain uh, content like let's say policy of uh, previous years versus policy of this year for different terms and conditions and looking at the uh, videos like accidental videos listening to audio calls from contact center so all of these things are going to uh, going to result into one low productivity and second high processing time and that's where news and low code platform coupled with its content services and customer communication comes into the picture and it really helps insurers in four or five areas one is accessing the information all through uh, by sufficiently helping discover the documents now if if we just see the 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 very nature of these insurance companies they are actually sitting in a gold mine of the decades of content that they had they would have accumulated these policy holders would be renewing and existing with these insurance companies for years and years there would have been hundreds of interactions and hundreds of content and all of those things gathered how easy would it be for a, for a processor within these or or a operational people within these insurance companies to be able to get the relevant content from the history without having to go and manually search in the context of the service that they are rendering to these policyholders. So those kind of things. Enhancing the collaboration, bringing in case management, automating those lines of processes. You talked about claims, you talked about policy servicing, you talked about policy issuance, Raj. Automating all of those processes. And then 
communicating back to the uh, policy holders right reaching back to the customers generating those required documents policies binders uh, alerts and notices and all of these things cloud hosted with adequate security and control with all those leading edge technologies you talked about artificial intelligence machine learning natural processing language and all of those things so that's how we see news and platform coming into this and kind of gelling in with what you you talked about infosys digital transformation uh, value prop and with that uh, i would like to take uh, your another uh, perspective on uh, you, you talk you you touched upon certain very interesting aspects with with and and i'm i'd like to take that leaf from there that these digital journeys appears complex the the journey of the acceleration comes becomes a little bit complex as it it appears to and especially to the mid size carriers uh, as compared to large carriers so how do we really go about starting these uh, transformation journeys what is your view on that yeah great question anurag so the way uh, we have seen you know working with clients the best way to approach is is look at specific areas and use cases uh, in terms of you know, where we want to you know transform right and and they talked about the digital playbook and that helps to sort of you know, identify the broad areas and then in order to get to value right we have a what we call as a digital factory and this has actually three sort of you no know, i would say three pillars uh, and and working together one is the research ops so this is about identifying and prioritizing the ideas use cases and customer journeys which actually makes a bit, the highest impact and drives the business outcomes right uh, this is followed by a design ops and uh, this is to where we do very rapid prototyping we prioritize the features and to find minimum viable products this helps to set the stage for what we have as the devops this is where the story backlogs are created we focus on iterative builds and release and also as we roll it out we actually evaluate the impact the business impact of the various features and then the whole sort of no feedback goes back right so by focusing on a on a sort of a digital factory approach and taking bite size chunk of the problem we are able to do sort of deliver a lot more value than doing it in the old style waterfall where all the scope is identified and now there is a, the feedback loop is no really almost non existent right so we recommend using this digital factory approach and infosys has set up local hubs across the us which actually helps to now work closely with both the business operations and technology teams with the clients and bring together and make this whole thing real right so this is a uh, uh, what we think is a is a way to now quickly move faster and and start delivering value to you know, to the insurers uh if you could share some of the successes uh, what type of use cases they have focused on what type of outcomes they have seen right and what type of acceleration they have now achieved from a digital perspective so anurag if you could share that i think that will bring to life some of the discussions we have been having no certainly and uh, it it is probably a uh, perfect uh, segue into the the solutions that have been implemented on news and platform and i will take maybe a couple of uh, examples one of the example is uh, this mid size insurance company and uh, they were having challenges with their uh, policy servicing customer request management producers uh, servicing so so the 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 chief operating officer of this insurance company wanted in in his own words wanted to do a digital policy servicing kind of automation he really had this uh, the initiative that wanted to do and when we started that uh, journey with on uh, newgen platform to automate we found that uh, they were having more than 150 different workflows each one corresponding to a different request types could be financial in nature could be non financial in nature could be administrative for all these uh, policy holders some requests were coming directly from policy holders the others would come through their producers and agents 
the policy holders may be having more than one policy the, the request would include corresponding to one policy or multiple policies so when we looked at that landscape and that has and, and that has that is not uh, unique to just just this one customer we have seen similar situation in almost all these uh, uh, mid-size insurance companies so one rationalizing and optimizing all of those 150 odd workflows into intelligent business processes and simplifying it for their internal operational uh, staff connecting it to their portal and then bringing their customers and producers and agents as a participant to this entire uh, journey of uh, request management so all of those things coupled with uh, again uh, like i talked about the content services platform wherein we ingested their entire legacy content which they had accumulated over last let's say decade or more than de- more than a decade all of those bringing in those into new gen content services uh, bringing and, and then helping the uh, operational staff while they are processing these uh, customer requests to utilize those content from history and from the uh, ongoing uh, operations on uh, interactions from the customers what customers are sending so this this new gen digital uh, transformation platform with its low put capability it has provided that unified and agile interface layer streamlining all of these processes and enabling this end to end automation of uh, uh, more than 150 different uh, uh, workflows and and request types that's one and a quickly touching upon a second one which is again unique because this this is a claims department where uh, Prior to new then implementation, this entire department was using uh, physical papers and folders and tens and hundreds of pages going through from desk to desk, everybody annotating on that paper with uh, markers, highlighters, using post-its to put their notes and those kind of things. That was the world in which this claims department was living in. And then when we came in and we said that, hey, we can do this uh, digital transformation, there were there were skepticism within users saying that hey we have been living with this physical world for years we don't see how you can mimic our processes in a digital environment and when we provided that interface where the users were now electronically able to do all of those things that they did on paper making notes uh, putting those annotations to be and and to to go a step further to be able to put notes for themselves private notes restricted published notes and generic notes and then annotation same way and now everything is available through search through almost like a google search you start searching whether that content is in one of the pages of the document or in one of the annotation or one of the notes all of those things coming into ergonomically in front of those users so these are a couple of uh, examples that i thought uh, may be helpful for our audience to, to appreciate how NewGen platform has helped uh, our uh, customers. Yeah, so with it, that... Great studies, Sanurag. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. And, and, and with that, uh, I think we are coming to our concluding uh, part of the chat. And that, that's where I wanted to ask you, Raj, that uh, how do you see Infosys and NewGen partnership uh, helping these insurers. What is what is? How do you see this joint value prop working here? A great question. I think uh, I think we have a lot to offer in terms of you know, to the clients as we come together. It's a long-standing partnership we have, uh, Infosys and NewGen over 18 years, and and Infosys has a very strong uh, you know, NewGen center of excellence, and uh, both of us. As you know, uh, as we as we saw during our discussion, right, we're very focused on this market segment, the mid-size insurance market. While Infosys brings a comprehensive insurance-specific digital transformation capabilities, uh, we also have an ability to quickly focus on results. And I think that is where working closely with NewGen as a platform, being able to implement it and being able to continuously you know, build use cases on top of it and orchestrate all the digital capabilities with both the low code, the content management, the data. I think it's been an amazing capability for us to come together and help our joint clients 
to get to those business outcomes quickly so i see this as a as a partnership which is now which is growing which is creating a lot of value for our clients and anurag uh, you know we we thank you and now uh, personally i thank you for all the support we have had and i think the best is yet to come of course of course uh, and it goes without saying uh, raj i mean this this partnership has flourished and and our joint customers are testimony to it uh, multiple of these customers within insurance here in us and other parts of the world are our live testimony and and just to add to what you just said right all those uh, good things that uh, you bring from infosys perspective and from new gen what how do we contribute into this partnership for these mid size insurers is by bringing its product the core product the low code the content the communication those three pillars bringing its architecture architecture around these products and last but not the least hosted on the cloud whether it is uh, one uh, customer hosted cloud or it is new gen hosted cloud or it is infosys provided cloud all all those permutation and combination and then being an extended arm of your of infosys uh, team to to go through this entire customer program that you run with run for all these customers and uh, yes this this has been a great partnership like you said the uh, best is probably yet to come but so far it has been such a wonderful journey and the looking at from uh, looking at it from our customers perspective uh, i i can safely say that i'm so proud of this uh, thing raj and we we cannot thank enough uh, to you and uh, infosys uh, entire uh, team and management in uh, having this commitment and working with us in this so we we really look forward to this